it's fun to learn and it's fun to build stuff, but you know what's not really fun is whenever you're building something and it just doesn't work. And especially with robots, because robots have so many difficult components to work with. So whether you're making a 3D printer, a Delta robot, uh, some silly alarm clock, or maybe even Skynet. Dude, we are not Skynet. Whatever the case, whenever you're building something, you just want it to be easy. We make a lot of robots for kids in schools, and the biggest obstacle they have is whenever they have creative robotic ideas. They always get stuck in the complexity of moving things and interfacing with the real world. We wanted to take that problem and make it simpler so that anybody who knows how to program in Python and other simple languages can move robots. To do this, we chose a platform that everyone is familiar with and already had a lot of community support and educational resources available. So naturally, we chose the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is great for handling videos, networking, and different math problems, but there's a small issue. It has trouble accurately controlling motors. The solution was to move the motion processing off the Raspberry Pi and onto what we've developed, the slush engine. The many components of the slush engine include industrial inputs, the industrial outputs, stepper motor inputs, temperature sensing, limit switches, power, expansion connector, and of course, the Raspberry Pi. So instead of controlling the motors manually, which is slow, time-consuming, and very difficult to coordinate, you can now send these smart motor drivers simple instructions from Python or a network. And this is the first time that you can ever move a stepper motor in three lines of Python code. The slush engine can be used to control all kinds of different stepper motors, from small to big. The slush engine also has an expansion connector, which allows you to attach different things, like an LCD, or maybe a different type of sensor. And the best part about the slush engine is that it's open source. All the design files, the software, everything. It's there for you to take a look at and modify as you see fit. We designed it, we built it, and we've tested it. And now we want to get it in your hands. But to do that efficiently, we've got to make a bunch of these things, and this Kickstarter is going to help us do just that. It'll help us meet our minimum manufacturing order. So whether you're an educator, an engineer, or a maker, we want to make things easier for you. Help us get the slush engine off the ground.